All right, this tutorial is on the memory cell. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit complex. I'm trying to explain it as best as I can. The thing looks like a heart with a bunch of arteries coming in and out of it, but um, pretty straightforward, really. It's got power coming in. These are the two powers coming out. I'll explain that in a little more, de more detail here in a second. We got a set function, we got a reset function, and we got a toggle function. So I like to kind of describe this more as a power diverter. It diverts power one way or the other. We got power diverted to the left as default. And when we trigger it with the set function, that's going to trigger the tr trigger it to set the power to the other side, divert the power to the other side. So I got power coming in already, as you can see with my light on. We already know that this is the default side. Um, I'll explain the set side first. This is the side I usually use the most is the set function. I use this with, you can use it with like HBHF sensor. Um, really you could use it with a multitude of every, anything you really could think of, but most of the time HBHF or a laser, uh, in this case, I rigged up a pressure pad. I mean, you could use a timer. There's a lot of different things. Anything you could power this with is what you could trigger it with. You could use it from an XOR switch or an Andor switch or, uh, you know, whatever you want. So anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and trigger that without trying. Uh, that triggered to show you that the power just diverted to the other side. Now it's permanently powered to the other side. As you can see, I can hit this thing all I want and it's still powering the other side. So once it's triggered, it's permanently powering the other side of the memory cell. And then I've rigged up this here timer switch to one hertz, one second. Uh, and the reset function just to be able to reset it so you can see the reset. So I'll do that one more time It's triggered That's the reset. Okay um, So that's basically how you reset it um, If you trap somebody in your base and you're wanting to be there when it happened or you wanted to be stuck in the base until you decided that they got out or whatever it may be um, That's how I would set that and then uh, the last but not least is the toggle function, which is not something I typically use, but uh, I set up another pressure pad here to show you. Um, just pretty much toggles it left to right and right to left so you can go back and forth. So, I mean, yeah, other than the reset function, you could reset it this way, but realistically, I usually use this the switch because there's no reason for someone to walk over a pressure pad and reset it themselves or whatever it may be but anyway um you can use this thing for so many things you can send as much power through it as you want as you can see i got 60 power coming out or 59 power coming out 60 coming into it um so there's no limitations there um you could you could you could have it set up so that someone triggers it and you have it to a splitter or multiple auto turrets kick on through a splitter uh it's pretty much endless just a lot you can do with this. Um, one of the most complex of these types of items in the game. Um, very limitless though. like it a lot. Use it for a lot of things. Um, and that's my tutorial on the memory cell.